guys, it's Thea, and this is going to be my February TBR. So for February, I kind of kept my TBR pretty short, um, not too overbearing, because uh, I know I'm probably not going to get as much reading done as I normally do because I will be on vacation this month for five days. Two of those days, absolutely no reading will be happening because I will be at Disneyland. I am so excited. It's finally here. My boyfriend and I have been planning it for a few months now and it's coming up. It's like less than two weeks away and I am pumped. I got my ears yesterday. My ears came in the mail the other day. I got my nails done with little Mickeys. I am so excited. Um, I haven't been to Disneyland in probably about 20 years um and so it's almost like a first time for me because I don't really remember much of it but anyway off on a tangent let's show you guys what I plan on trying to get to in February uh, one of the first things I like to pick up this month which I do think is is doable because it doesn't take more than a sitting to get through and that is the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess volume 3 this is the manga series that is inspired by the game um it has been a lot of fun reading these we just recently picked up this third volume um, and it's a lot of fun learning more about the world and the story and the characters and um, it's actually really good like I'm really enjoying it and it's got a lot of emotion and it's actually kind of sad at parts but I do probably uh, think I can get through this this month since it won't it's a very short read it's maybe something I can take with me um, on the road so I'm gonna pick this up this month. The two graphic novels I'd like to pick up this month is Green Lantern Volume 6, A World of Our Own, and Green Lantern Volume 7, Superhuman, Superhuman Trafficking. These are the last two volumes that we have for the Green Lantern series, so I finished these and we'll be caught up. Um, the series is the DC Rebirth series of Green Lantern. It's very good. Um, it has some very good parts. A few of the volumes weren't as great, but overall as a whole series, it's one of my favorites. So, um, but I plan on trying to get through these. Maybe these I bring with me on my trip and get through them at night after a long day at Disney. And these will be kind of fun to just relax and read. So maybe I'll bring these, but I do plan on trying to pick these up as well. The first of the three books I'd like to get to this month is To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. This is my February book for my book club. So this is like the one mandatory book that has to happen this month. Um, I don't know much about it. Uh, I have a heart for every year I've been alive. Princess Lyra is siren royalty and the most lethal of them all. With the hearts of 17 princes in her collection, she is revered across the sea until a twist of fate forces her to kill one of her own. To punish her daughter, the sea queen transforms Lyra into the one thing sirens loathe most, a human. Robbed of her song, Lyra has until the winter solstice to deliver the prince's heart to the sea queen or remain a human forever. The ocean is the only place the prince calls home, even though he is heir to the most powerful kingdom in the world. Hunting sirens is more than an unsavory hobby. It's his calling. When he rescues a drowning woman in the ocean, she's more than what she appears. She, promise, she promises to help him find the key to destroying all of siren kind for good. But can he trust her? And how many deals will Elian have to broker to eliminate humankind's greatest enemy? I'm really excited to read this. It sounds like it's it could be really good. Um, I haven't read a lot of like sea books and like siren books so I'm kind of really intrigued to give this a try um and don't know when I'm gonna get to it when I'm on my trip but this is definitely coming with me because I do have to read it for book club um so I'm really excited to dive into this very soon I am also gonna try to pick up the Guinevere Deception this month by Kirsten White um because Kirsten White is actually gonna be back again this year at my book festival in March so I want to read this before I see her since this is the newest release um I did just recently get this from book of the month as well so I would like to try to pick this up um I don't know much about it but I assume it's just kind of like a King Arthur retelling focusing on Guinevere Princess Guinevere has come to Camelot to wed a stranger the charismatic King Arthur with magic clawing at the kingdom's borders the great wizard Merlin conjured a solution Send in Guinevere to be Arthur's wife and his protector from those who want to see the young kings to see the young king's idealistic city fall. The catch? Guinevere's real name and her true identity is a secret. She is a changeling, a girl who has given up everything to protect Camelot. Ooh, okay. So this is a little bit of a twist, um, but I am really excited to pick this up. It's not super long um, either. It's like 
a little over 300 and something pages. So I don't think it'll be take very long to get through and her books do tend to be pretty fast paced. So hopefully I can get to this in February as well. And the last book I'd like to try to get to in February, I am so excited. Um, this is one of the few books that I've pre-ordered in a very long time and I just got it and I am so, so, so excited to read it. I wanted to pick it up like the day I got it, but I knew I couldn't because I had so many other things going on. Uh, so I'm going to pick it up in February, hopefully, and fingers crossed, I'm going to pick it up in February. And that's Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera. I, oh my God, I love Adam Silvera. I've read all of his books. He's one of my favorite authors. I know all of us fans have been following him for so long as far as his fantasy novel. And I am so excited to read this. Um, and it's actually a signed, it's actually, and this is actually a signed first edition. And my bookstore is one of the bookstores that was doing the pre-order campaign. So we got these cute little posters. I also have a, I also did like the pre-order, um, thing that Epic Reads was doing. And so I should have like a little like button pin coming soon, but I am so, so, so excited to read this. Early reviews were absolutely amazing. I know everyone is loving it, um, but I am so excited to see this out in the world, physical, have this in my hands. Um, honestly, I couldn't tell you like the exact plot. I know it involves two brothers, something about one of them becoming a phoenix, and that's all I needed to know. It's Adam Silvera's fantasy. So, <laughs> um, but let's let's see what the description actually says. Ever since they were young, brothers Emil and Brighton have idolized the Spellwalkers, a vigilante group sworn to protect the world from specters. While the Spellwalkers and other celestial, while the Spellwalkers and other celestials were born with supernatural powers, specters take them, violently stealing the essence of endangered magical creatures. A gang of specters is growing bolder by the day and the fear they sow is making it harder for anyone with powers to live peacefully and openly in the world. Shortly after their 18th birthday, Emil and Brighton are attacked by a specter and in trying to defend his brother, Emil manifests a power that shouldn't be possible. Phoenix fire. A power that only a specter can have. Convinced that he is the key to finally ending the war, the Spellwalkers want Emil to join their ranks and they're willing to take Brighton too if he, if that's Emil's condition. For Brighton, even if he's powerless, the chance to fight specters with his hero, for, with his heroes is a dream come true. For Emil, the constant fighting and the painful new power is a walking nightmare. And the painful new power is a waking nightmare. Much as they hate to admit it, the brothers are faced with an undeniable fact. One of them has what it takes to be a hero. But it's not the only but it's not the one who desperately wants it balancing epic and intensely personal stakes best-selling author adam silvera's infinity sun is a gritty fast-paced adventure about a magical war generations in the making brotherhood love and loyalty will be put to the test and no one will escape the fight unscathed oh i'm so excited oh and i've heard that there's so much great queer representation and i i just i just want to start this book like right now um, but I really, 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 really want to get to it in February and I hope that it's going to be possible. So here is my February TBR. Uh, what are you guys planning on reading in February? If you've read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. Boys, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are well. Happy reading and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!